Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Your Channel and I'm back with another Life is Strange video. Apparently I traumatized some of you guys by playing Fortnite the other night. The moment I mentioned that I might play Fortnite, you guys were like, don't play Fortnite, Fortnite sucks! And I still played it, mostly because it was free and it's like entertainment. I don't really know what's the hype about, what's the fuss about, why is it that so many people get triggered whenever Fortnite is mentioned. Is it only because it's mainstream? Because I don't pay attention to that stuff. It's like with movies I suppose. Like I like good movies, like more subtle movies, but when there's like a proper blockbuster I'm gonna go and see it as well and I don't really mind that it's mainstream. But that's not important. I feel like I owe your life a strange video and I still have so many in stock and so many that I mentioned before. I said that I would make them and then I never got to it. This one. This one is more like a Q&A spin-off. During my previous Q&As you guys asked me what were my favorite life is strange and before the storm scenes. And I never really got to it properly. I wanted to make a life is strange slash before the storm video but there would be too many scenes honestly like life is strange itself that's so many scenes most of them are max and chloe of course but yeah that's just like a minor teaser now as i always mentioned remember to check out the links in the description for discord server and other social media you can also upload subtitles in your native language if you want to watch my videos remember to hit the bell so you get notified whenever i make one life is strange favorite moments now this is very hard because Life is Strange is such an important game to me and I feel like it needs to be treated as a whole. Every moment is my favorite one. Well, every Max and Chloe moment. When they're not there, I just I, I, I wait for them to be around back again. I did pick some moments that are sort of my favorite ones, but I didn't really put much thought into it. I, I see no point in being very strict about it. So I just sort of focused on mentioning moments that made me feel stuff. I picked 10 moments and I'm gonna start with my least favorite one, which is not my least favorite one because it's still my favorite one. And I'm going to sort of slowly move towards my favorite moment, which was actually an easy choice, but you'll see. That's number 10. You'll be surprised that I picked that scene. I, I, I think not many people would actually pick that moment, but it did make me feel stuff. That's Max and Frank's conversation in the diner when the tornado's coming. I found it very sad, especially because of, you know, the way Frank was throughout the entire game. He was kind of worse than before the storm Frank. He was less likable. And to see his vulnerable side. I mean, obviously I'm not a big fan of his relationship with Rachel. And I didn't make a video about it before, so I'm not going to get into that, but it, it really felt like he was very vulnerable. And when he mentioned Rachel, when he found out that she was dead, he was so sad and he felt guilty. I really admired the fact that he sort of admitted to being jealous of Chloe and Rachel's relationship, which I found very important overall. I liked that scene a lot. Although it's nothing compared to other scenes that I really, really liked. Obviously that was an episode 5 scene. Moment number 9. That's end of episode 1. Chloe and Max next to the lighthouse. Max explaining to Chloe that she really time traveled. That she saw a tornado. The way she saved Chloe in the bathroom. And Chloe finally believing her. It felt very intimate the way they were on the ground, sort of holding hands, seemed very lost. When Max tells Chloe that tornado is coming and that everyone will die, obstacles is playing. And then when you save Chloe, obstacles is playing as well. Which I believe is no accident. And then snow is falling. With that song, with that beautiful sun, it felt so nice. And as my friend Luke mentioned, this is the moment when he fell in love with A Life is Strange. Now that moment came from me a little later, although I did have a crush at this point already, <laughs> but I liked that scene a lot, especially when Chloe told Max to explain her everything from the very beginning. Moment number eight. That's a sad moment from alternate reality, sort of, when Max lets William go, knowing that he will die in a car crash. That's a scene from episode four. When Max tried to save William, she went back in time and she stopped him from leaving that house. 
Hence, Chloe ended up paralyzed. Now, she went back again to let William go, and then her and Chloe had this brief conversation in that house corridor, when Max sort of apologized for not being there, because she knew that she wouldn't be there in the upcoming years. You know, combined with the farewell episode, it makes this a powerful moment. Chloe mentions, when we grow up, we'll take over the world. Max mentions, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, I will never abandon you, Chloe. Anytime Max says that she'll never abandon Chloe, it just feels so important. And it makes me feel like saving Chloe is the right choice. Moment number seven, that's from episode two, the track scene. Obviously, like if we're talking about some train related scenes, I'd probably prefer Rachel and Chloe's scene from Before the Storm. But Before the Storm, I'm gonna make a separate video about Before the Storm moment. This one, when Max saved Chloe yet again, they hug it out. Max mentions that her powers might not last. And then Chloe says, we will last forever. You know, it's just like, ah, it's so amazing. It was only episode two, but I really felt such a strong connection between those two. Some people claim that they never felt it, but you guys know, I know that you know, it was always there. Moment number six, Kate's death aftermath. This may sound weird and some of you know this, but this is the very moment that made me fall in love with Life is Strange. I really liked that song playing. The first time I played Life is Strange's episode two, Kate died. I didn't know how to save her, she died. Max was sitting with Warren, talking about it, and there was a sun eclipse. And then we saw some other characters, and everyone felt so vulnerable, like Victoria, Nathan. You saw Joyce and David hugging, and you could tell that they're very close. Then you saw Chloe sitting alone on that cliff, and it just felt like Rachel was not there with her. And then we saw Chloe texting Max and she said that they will figure this out together. I even felt sorry for Frank sitting with Pompidou. And then of course you could see Kate's memorial right next to the school. I really liked that scene combined with the music. It just felt like such a new gaming experience. At this point, I knew that this game was not an ordinary game, that it was something special and that, that it will last forever. Moment number five. Honestly, that's a scene that I sort of forgot. That's a moment from episode five when Max comes back from traveling all over time and her and Chloe meet on the beach and they hug it out again and they have this conversation. Max saying that she's not special and Chloe telling her that she's very special and that fate doesn't want them apart. They say so many things that sort of make me look at them in a new light. Chloe mentions that she doesn't blame Max for not wanting her in her life anymore because of all that drama. Max says that she's nobody, which is very sad. Then Chloe says, you're Max fucking Caulfield. She says that nobody could have a better friend than Max. And then Max needs to accept how awesome she is. And now the best part of that scene. Max says that she always wanted her life to be special and adventure, but not without Chloe. That's so important. Chloe then mentions yet again that they were meant to be together in this exact moment of history. Moment number four. That would be an episode one moment. Max and Chloe meeting again. This feels like such an important moment, especially after farewell. We know that the last time Max and Chloe saw each other was at William's funeral. And then Max left. And they basically never spoke again. This is the moment when they see each other again. It seems like they're two different people, like Chloe has grown up, she has blue hair, she's different, she's more adult, more independent, more hipster. Even Max says that she looks like a cover girl from like a hipster magazine or something. Then Max, obviously she's a different person as well, but I believe life is strange, events are what really made Max grow up. They discuss how Max never really texted Chloe during those years when she was away. And I feel like this moment defines their relationship. It's very cool because you know that some years have passed and you know how important they were. And based on farewell, you could even tell that there were some feelings involved there already back then. And now they sort of talk and 
It really feels like they belong together in that car. It really feels like nothing's changed. We can tell that they both changed. We can tell that so many things have happened. Even for Chloe, Rachel happened. But it just feels right that they're together again. It feels like you want to see them together. When I was playing, I could tell the amazing chemistry was there. Chloe sort of mentions that it wasn't cool the way Max acted. But I don't know, it just feels like Max filled in the hole that Rachel left. That was actually a hole that Rachel filled after Max left, by the way. I love that scene and it was done perfectly. Like you could tell that there are no strangers and that years did not change a single thing. Especially after farewell. This scene feels like it's very important. Okay, we're getting closer to the best moments. Moment number three. And that's an episode three moment. Which is, if you made it happen, because I did, Chloe and Max's kiss. Now, after the pool scene, they sort of spend night at Chloe's. And then Max goes to her closet uh, in search for some clothes. And she finds Rachel's shirt, the red one that we know so well. All too well, I suppose. She finds that shirt and she's like, oh, I don't think that's my style. Then Chloe says, you don't have a style yet, Max. You can try it out. You can afford to take chances. For example, I dare you to kiss me. And Max is like, what? And then Chloe's like, I double dare you. Kiss me now. And then Max did in my playthrough. She did. I love that moment. I mean, at this point, I already knew that there's something going on between them. Chloe jumped away. It felt like she was scared and felt like she was surprised. As I said before, I could already tell based on farewell that there was something going on between those two. I don't know, it felt really cool to be able to sort of develop these feelings during Life is Strange. Of course, when I was playing Life is Strange, farewell episode was not even out yet. But now I'm looking at the whole picture and seeing those two as kids. Obviously, they were too young to sort of have proper feelings, but I don't know, it just felt like something was going on already. Then having this chance, giving this sort of gift to Chloe, someone who's filling in the void, someone who's filling in that hole, Max, that felt really amazing. Also, it felt right, at least for me. I mean, some people probably didn't go for that kiss, but personally, it was probably the fastest I have ever clicked a button. <laughs> I've watched that scene so many times. It's not like Rachel and Chloe's kiss, it's not as proper. It didn't have anything sexual about it, but it did have an emotional impact on me. Moment number two, that's episode five, the proper kiss. Now, obviously that, that kiss only happens if you decide to sacrifice Chloe, which I never did, but I'm sort of in denial of that. I like to watch that scene combined with the good ending, so Chloe surviving. There's a YouTube video you can see Max and Chloe kissing and then leaving together. I really liked that kiss, but I also liked what happened if you didn't actually decide to sacrifice Chloe and you decided to sacrifice Arcadia Bay and they sort of hugged while watching Arcadia Bay being destroyed and then they left together and then you could see those running around Arcadia Bay. It just felt like a new beginning. It felt right, like even though all those people died, Chloe was fine, which is all that she ever deserved. Obstacles was playing again. Both these endings were powerful and they certainly deserve a second place in that list of mine. Moment number one. I'm certain you guys know what it is. I knew it the moment I thought of making that list. The pool scene. The pool scene was the first time I realized that there is something going on between them for certain. Because before I sort of sensed it, but it wasn't something that I would assume that would actually happen. Now, that scene, it felt so intimate. I believe that's the proper word to describe it. I don't even mean the fact that they were sort of half naked in that scene. But you know, the lights were so dim and they were discussing all that stuff and they were looking at each other. Even these moments of silence were amazing. Chloe telling Max that she's changing, that she's growing, that she's becoming a force of nature. Max saying that she would never stumble when it comes to saving Chloe. Chloe saying that they're obviously connected. Max saying that Chloe is making her feel like she knows what she's doing. Which is a pretty powerful statement for such a 
cliched geek that she claimed she was. Chloe saying that thanks to Max, she feels like she has a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Again, it feels like they belong together. Obviously, when I'll be making a Before the Storm video, I'll probably say the same thing about Rachel and Chloe, but you know, just ignore me. Max asking if Rachel Amber was more talented than she is. And then Chloe claiming that she was not her groupie. That she is not her groupie. Given the fact that they thought that she's still alive. And that that conversation somehow drifted away towards the area of relationships. So Chloe saying, ah, you probably have a lot of bros around you and stuff like that. Which felt very nice. It just felt like she was sort of checking out the ground, like what's going on. As Max, you could have picked the option, you're the bro killer. Chloe is stating that Max will make the world bow at one point. And then Max saying, as long as you're there with me. I absolutely loved that. As I said before, it felt so intimate. And then Chloe finally saying, I'm never leaving you. I mean, these are not the things that you casually mention to your best friend. These are the things that you mention to someone who's the most special person in your life which I believe they were for each other, both Max and Chloe. That was pretty obvious that I would pick the pool scene as the best one. Now I've been thinking, I should probably stream Life is Strange. I might do it, I might start streaming Life is Strange. I've upgraded my internet speed, the upload one for certain. Let me know what you think about that, because it feels weird, like I've made so many videos about Life is Strange, but I haven't actually done a let's play. Now, I obviously played that game before and not once. Uh, I don't feel like recording that. It feels like it would be very nice to interact with you guys while playing that. Yeah, that's something to think about. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know what are your favorite moments as well. I probably missed some, but it's because it's hard to sort of take everything into consideration given that there's like five episodes, two, three hours each one. But these were the moments that really have had the biggest impact on me. Especially that pool scene. That pool scene was, was perfect. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. I hope I made it up to you after that Fortnite video. <laughs> Even though I'm still going to play Fortnite, I believe. If you liked the video, remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for more gaming videos, Life is Strange videos, Let's Plays and other vlogs. Thank you for watching if you made it that far. Hope you guys are well. This was all up from Stop Me All channel. Bye.